In this West Africa Sierra Leone episode, I ended up in the eastern part of the country in a distant village. I started my journey in Freetown, the capital of the country, where I spent some time in these beautiful beaches over the coastline. But quickly then, I continued with local transportation, bus, taxi, and then a bike, a total of 10 hour journey. When reaching the eastern part of the country, I met two hunters that take me to the Tingi Hills. We went hunting, exploring the hills, and climbing mountains. This actually on a different episode. Feel free to follow me on that. When coming down from the mountain, the hunter's taking me to this distant village located within the Tingi Hills. A distant village where I met this family and spent time with them. I had a chance to see their lifestyle and a glimpse of the way they live. Coming empty hand to a village, which we're walking to, it's never, never good nice. So the nice thing I'm bringing them is some chickens and I hope they're gonna be appreciative of that small little village. I'll show it to you from here. This is the one hut. And there's a few of them up and that's where we're gonna stay. These little huts. It's really nice. It's an experience. Fine. Hey, you can go to the No, let me come here. Let me visit. No problem. Hello. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, thank you. Kwishe. Oh, I'm fine. Jerama. I'm not thank for Waka. Ah. Jerama. Nala ta nala. How are you? I came over just to see to visit. Salam Stop over here. I'm probably scaring them, so I'm gonna introduce myself and then we'll sit down and see how they live. Let me check out the houses over here. This village. I'll show you how they live. They decorated it a bit, made it look very nice. It's thatch roof. Fast roofing and there's nice and organized. It's just a one room. See they make it from from mud I guess and grass. They make it very nice and look at this nice they even had some decoration to make the make it look nice. And the floor is nice and smooth. This is to make the floor. Only the floor or all the house? No, only the floor. Only the floor. So yeah. to make the floor very flat, yeah. they knock it with this piece of wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, usually in the villages I've seen over here in Sierra Leone, they're not as nice. This is made very nice. They made it very clean and, and it feels nice and smooth and clean over here inside. Other huts I've been to, you know, you don't even want to go in. You don't want to enter. But this feels fairly nice. And all made from local materials except of some rice bags and I guess it is to keep up look at the slingshot they have over here I guess for protection at night time but they can just on the, on, the, on the swing they can take it out so we'll need to take care of the chickens now for the sake of the channel I'm not gonna show it So what are, what are we doing? What are we what are we cook? What is this is my granite? Yes. Granite. Yes. And what? Why you do this? For clean? For grilla. For grill. Mm -hmm. For grilla. Ah, but you do like this. Oh, for panara. Yeah. For panara. Paneling it. Mm -hmm. So they clean it off when they do. Put on some water and I'll And now you will. Now you will. You will. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, will, you will grill it. Mm -hmm. You will make a mash out of it and this will be our paste. So we're preparing the chicken with the, 
with peanut sauce. This is a tool now to mix up the granite. Look how they're mixing it up. They're making it into a paste. This is little thing. Good. See? This is the tea. This yeah. is the tea. Yeah. This is from a tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Medicine. Medicine. Good. Good. How you call this tea? This. Mm -hmm. Sobot. 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 And it has this foam coming up. This foam coming up from here. Maybe it's from the sugar, maybe it's from the actual uh, root. Yeah. I go taste. This is good for man. Good for man? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. For this. This is good for man. Yeah, for the belly. For the belly of the man. I, just, I will just taste it no more. Very bitter. And the sugar makes it sweet. This is where I'm gonna spend the night over here. I tied it to the fence and to the stick over here. It's a nice evening by the way. The golden hour at the village. This village has a name. You get name? The name Berea Koro. Berea Koro. Wakanda Berea Koro. Wakanda Berea Koro. I guess they call it this way because they call that mountain top Berea Koro. And the closest village is ba Bacando. So this really place, in fact, they call the Fulanese, the Fula, the, as if they came over here, as if they're foreigners in the country. They're not. They've been here for many, many years. They've been here for years. They just migrated from different locations, and especially from Guinea and Mali. But they kind of came over here and settled. So they're still treated as visitors, as outsiders. So I guess this village doesn't have a name because it was they kind of settled and quietly they kept on living their life raising cattle. Sharing it very nicely between the family. You just share them between the family, eh? That's how you do. You share it between. You share this is you, this is. So that's how they do. They share it between the families and they give each family a plate of itself. It's a real uh, party here happening tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, there's a nice meal. Everybody are gathering together and eating the, what we have prepared earlier. And we're, uh, I would say we're getting like 15 people over here, without counting. Delicious. Real chicken, not this thing that you buy in the supermarkets. <clears throat> the taste is actually amazing. Like chicken enhanced. And absolutely nothing left, because it was delicious. I'll show you guys my washing arrangement for tonight. 
So the village is here. See these are the fence, the walls of the village. It's a nice full moon. You can't see the stars, but there's stars out there and clouds. And here's my bucket of hot water. See the steam coming out. So I'll take this shower and I'll hit the sack very soon. It's uh, 6.45 right now in the morning. Everybody are getting up. I see people going to the bathroom. Uh, last night was pretty noisy. It was uh, goats running around and crying of uh, goats. And uh, you know, there's a lot of animal walking around and I completely understand why there's this fence because there was wild hogs around and I don't know what, cows all night. It was extremely noisy because of all the movement. In the evening time, I uh, got to know a little bit, get to know a little bit the, the people over here. They're asking me innocent questions about, uh, really about other also. countries and even a plane, how to be on a plane. And they sang a little songs to me. And it's an amazing opportunity to meet people that live in such distance. They never been in, even in Kono. In fact, these guys, they migrated from uh, neighborhood countries to raise cattle and they rent the land from the Kranko tribe, which are the landowners of this uh, commun of this area, these mountains. This guy that we met last night has over a thousand cattle. Now a thousand cattle uh, for about a thousand dollars a head, that's a million dollars. And you would wonder why would somebody live over here? <clears throat> no lights, no running, and he doesn't have a wife, no children, he just lives himself over here. It's an interesting guy. It can be a million different reasons, literally. The guys are getting ready to go to the cattle. Is far? Where is it? The mountain? Bacando? Okay, I go Bacando. Mm -hmm never seen this before, but what they're boiling over here is actually bananas. See? They boil banana. Banana coffee. Ah, banana coffee. Yes. So we'll have our little breakfast, bananas and coffee. From there we're going to head out to uh, the village and I'm going to go on my journey because it's a far journey. I've been here enough time. I've seen the mountains, we went out hunting spend the time over here in the village and this will soon be uh, you know just a memory what they told me is that they never they never had a guest in fact yeah yeah I would say from what they said they never had somebody stay over here that's the first time and, uh, with this it's, it's, it's a nice experience it's nice being a uh, you know a, a guest from the outside world that's how probably they see it I'll greet you from up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So I'll uh, say I said goodbye to everybody. There's uh guys from the from the herd are just coming from the mountains. I'm gonna be heading from here to Bacando. It's about a 30-45 minute walk from here to Bacando. Hello. From there there's gonna be a bike of about two and a half, three hours max. And then there's a car waiting for me and it will be heading, taking me to Freetown. So it's a long journey. Um, it's a great experience, amazing being in the mountains over here, traveling, hunting, meeting these guys, interacting, eating their food. It was a great experience. And it's amazing being in this distant location, far away, and now heading back. So guys, if you enjoy this, please comment, share, subscribe. It helps and it shows the support. 
any question please contact me and uh, follow all right guys i'll see you on the next uh, adventure ciao guys bye